And welcome to the news at noon. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. We begin with breaking news regarding a rape allegation against an Idaho legislator. An ethics committee at the State House gathered just a few hours ago to continue processing testimony about the allegation against Lewiston Representative Aaron Von Ellinger. Our Joe Paris has been staying on top of this for us. Joe, what's the latest? Well, Shira, after about an hour of deliberations this morning, the House Ethics Committee voted unanimously to recommend censure for Representative Von Ellinger. I'll talk more in a moment about what exactly that means and where we go from here. But first, in case you've missed it, a little bit of backstory for you. We'll head down to the state capitol. Here's what you need to know. A 19 year old legislative intern made a rape allegation after she went out to dinner with Aaron Von Ellinger back in March. Now, Von Ellinger in private testimony said that the two had a consensual sexual encounter. However, yesterday he declined to answer any questions related to this encounter or whatever they even had to dinner together. Now, to be clear, this was not a criminal hearing or trial or anything like that. The entire purpose of this ethics hearing was to determine if Von Ellinger's alleged actions were, quote, unbecoming of a legislator. Again, all five members of the committee indicated that they believed that was the case. And on a unanimous vote, the committee voted to recommend censure. Here are the conditions of that recommendation that will eventually be voted on from Chairman Sage Dixon. I will summarize that motion. Our motion is that Representative Von Ellinger should be censured with the following restrictions and conditions. One, that he be immediately suspended without pay or benefits. Two, that he must immediately vacate his office in the Capitol and not return to Capitol grounds for the remainder of the 66th Idaho legislature. And three, that a substitute representative should be appointed with compensation as soon as possible following his suspension so that uh, District 6 remains with a representative. So to be clear, no action has been taken just yet. The way it works is that the committee has that recommendation. It'll now go to the full body of the House and for censure to pass, it needs a simple majority. The committee also mentioned this morning that they all actually were in favor of a possible expulsion of the representative. That will be brought up as a separate issue and for expulsion to be passed, that would need a two thirds majority of the House body. There are a lot of questions right now about when the censure or if expulsion will be taken up. I'm told by my sources at the state house Shira that it could be brought up as soon as this afternoon. There is a good chance. However, that the house will vote on censure as soon as tomorrow. We will keep our viewers posted and get that info out as soon as it is available. Thanks, Joe. And the governor's office released a statement about the decision saying in part, quote, I applaud Jane Doe and the other brave women for their courage in telling their stories and participating in this process to hold representative Aaron Von Ellinger accountable for his deeply damaging and shameful actions. I fully support the House Ethics and House Policies Committee's recommendation to expel Representative Ellinger. Representative Von Ellinger's inappropriate and alarming actions stand in opposition to the values and behavior state elected officials must uphold.